Hello everyone and welcome to another Painting Fortress Inquisitorious episode. Today uh, is episode 4 and my focus for this episode was working on the big planet at the top. So I just kind of started out with my standard paint colors at this point. I had ultramarine blue, I had my alizarin crimson and the lamp black. Just squirted that right out onto the canvas and got to work. Oh, and I also added some white because the, the nebulous shapes weren't like completely black and I had learned that when I did the like the top right of the painting that once I had the black mixed with the blue and red um, and I didn't add any white then it just ended up being black like you couldn't tell if that there was any other colors in there. So I made sure to like add some white so you could tell what I was doing. Um, and this, I was trying to do the, uh, there's kind of like stripes in the, in the, in the planet. Um, I guess like rings or clouds maybe. Uh, so I was just kind of putting those in. I was using a different type of brush stroke actually for this. I was kind of more like dabbing the paint on rather than brushing it on in long strokes. Which kind of created that more dappled look. And while the paint was still wet, I added a little bit more of white and blue and mixed that in um, to kind of have almost like a highlight underneath there. Really, I was just trying to copy what was in the photo. And it's out of the frame right now, but I was doing some stuff right on the edge of the painting on the right side because there's that big cloud there. Um, and there's kind of an outline on the bottom of the planet where I guess there's a reflection in the water. So I was trying to get that sorted uh, with some white, lamp black, and ultramarine blue. And then I went back in and really made that highlight stand out with some ultramarine blue and white. I actually mixed this color on my palette, which I haven't done like a lot for this painting. But I found that for doing these very precise lines uh, that I'm, you know, I want it to be straight. Having like a glob of paint in the middle of it and trying to spread it out just is not very practical. Uh, that's more for like kind of mushy shapes and stuff that doesn't have to be exact. But this one I would prefer to be more exact. So yeah, I was just trying to blend that in with a little bit more ultramarine blue because um, it was a little bit it was a bit of a harsh line there and then I went back through on the on the black sky there just with some more dark paint I realized after the last episode that the the night sky wasn't quite dark enough for me so I just kind of did more negative painting to get that in there and I actually use like a, a more round brush for that instead of like a flat one that's kind of more rectangular so I could get um, more round shapes which makes sense. And then I, I was going to keep going with the, the shadows here um, but I, I ran out of time recording this. So here was the underpainting, and then we moved on to adding some of the black in the top sections of the painting. This was last episode where I added the clouds, and now here is today's episode. It looks so much better now. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Subscribe.